Hi, welcome to Quality of Life, Grace Teaching New Covenant Ministry. Um, we are here to uh, build up the body of Christ, trusting the Holy Spirit to uh, as our teacher and as our guide. And um, um, we always let Scripture by choice and design point to Christ. Uh, by choice and design, that's what it's for. And so that's our goal, is to uh, point the body of Christ to our living hope. And... Um, Today I'm going to talk about light um, in in a dark world, um, and so I wanted to uh, um, first of all go to First Corinthians one thirty, and I want to read from there. <clears throat> I'm going to read uh, from First Corinthians out of the New English Translations, First um, Corinthians one thirty. And I'll give you time to get there, if you'd like to go along with us. Um, I'm going to read now. It says, He is the reason you have a relationship with Christ, who became for us wisdom from God, and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. And so the first thing I wanted to point out is He. Who is He in this text? The Apostle Paul is writing to the church at Corinth, of course, and um, he is speaking to the um, Gentile Christians in Christ, new creatures in Christ, just as we are. So we appropriate this in our life as well. Um, and so what does it mean to really be in Christ? And uh, so what we're going to talk about here is He is the reason that you have a relationship with Christ Jesus. Well, speaking of, the Apostle Paul is speaking about the Holy Spirit here. And what the Holy Spirit has done is grafted or placed the church, believers, in Christ. And that's what he's talking about. And now he's saying Christ is actually the wisdom of the church. And the church, of course, are the believers. And so, he is our wisdom. And so, of course, that's where we go for wisdom. We don't go to, uh, you know, the pastor. We go to him, Christ. As believers in Christ, uh, it's always nice to have a third party in, in our lives. Um, especially if we're married or if we're in relationships or whatever's going on in our life. It's okay to get uh, good biblical counseling. But the truth of the matter is uh, a good Christian graced uh, teacher or pastor is going to point us right here um, to our wisdom. And so um, so what am I uh, getting to? This is uh, what I wanted to get to. I wanted to show you a, a little uh, example of what this means or what this looks like. You see, before Christ, we're all like say we're just going to use this as symbolic this is just a light bulb and so we're just you know running throughout the world we're spiritually dead we're separated from god and so we not we're not light in the darkness we're not light in a dark world we're kind of dead spiritually in a dark world so how does a person become light in a dark world and that, this is what i wanted to show you i was out uh, um um putting a light bulb in above the garage, up by the garage, and I had this insight, and I thought I'd share it with you. But I'm going to use a lamp here and uh, as this, and so I was out putting a light bulb in the up uh, by the garage. But what I'm going to do is show you what uh, the Holy Spirit actually did with us. I mean, the Holy Spirit, when we went from unbelief to belief in Jesus Christ as our personal Savior and Lord, what happened is the Holy Spirit, He um, placed us in Christ. And so this is going to, this is our little prop here. It's harvest time. We're uh, giving thanks. And this is a, a holiday uh, season uh, coming up on uh, October here, the end of October. And as you notice here, um, when I place that light bulb in that lamp, there's light. And that's kind of the way it was with us believers. When we were, when He, the Holy Spirit, placed us in Christ, um, that light is in us now. And so I wanted to point us to John 1 4 now and close this up. John 1 4 says, In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. So <clears throat> light is going to be produced by the life of Christ. And that's where we look to Christ as our wisdom to reveal this truth to us. Uh, we just wanted to thank you for this time. Remember, you're the most important person here um, because without you, we could not teach. Um, 
And so uh, remember, uh, we're growing in grace. We're learning as we're going, and as um, as we're learning, we're teaching, and as we're teaching, we're learning. So we just want to say thank you, and God bless.